Okay, so solving for the present value of a general annuity. So this is the formula in finding the present value of a general annuity. So P, that's the periodic payment. J, that's the interest rate per periods. And N, that's the number of periods. So we have this given. So Mrs. Ocampo would like to buy a television set. Payable monthly for 9 months, so starting at the end of the month, then how much is the cost of the TV set if her monthly payment is 3200 and the interest is 7% compounded semi-annually? Now, since the payment interval is monthly and the compounding period, the 7% compounded semi-annually so therefore, this problem is a general annuity. So we need to convert this 7% compounded semi-annually to the interest rate compounded monthly. So from the problem, these are the given. So the periodic payment, that's 3,200. Then the payment interval, that's M sub 1. So monthly payment, so therefore, 12 times in a year. Then the rate, that's 7%. Then convert this to decimal, that's 0 0.07. Then the compounding period, so that's M sub 2. So compounded semi-annually, so therefore, twice in a year. And the time, this one is 9 months. But since T, that's the number of years, so we need to convert this 9 months to a year. So that's 9 divided by 12, and that's 0.75. So again, we need to convert the 7% compounded annually to the interest rate that is compounded monthly. So this is the formula. Then substitute now the values, so R, that's 0 0.07, M sub 2, that's 2, then M sub 2 over M sub 1, so 2 over 12, then minus 1. Then to solve for J, so this 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 2, so we have 0 0.07 divided by 2, equals then plus 1, it's 1 1.035. And this, 2 divided by 12, so 2 divided by 12, that's 0.1667. So 0.1667, then minus 1. Then to solve for J, so 1.035, to the power 0.1667 equals then minus 1. So it's 0 0.0058. So J is 0 0.0058. So this is now the interest rate compounded monthly. So to solve for the present value, so using this formula, and J is 0 0.0058. Then N, that's M sub 1 times the time. So M sub 1 is 12, time is 0 0.75. So therefore, N is 9. Then substitute now all the values to this formula to solve for the present value. So P, that's 3,200 times 1 minus 1 plus J, 0 0.0058 to the power negative 9 over J. So therefore, the present value, so we have 1 minus 1 1.0058 to the power negative 9, then equals, then divide by 0 0.0058 equals, then times 3,200 so this is now the present value, 27,982.26. So 27,982.26. So this is how to solve the present value of a general annuity.